The Star of the Week お待たせしました約束通りエルトン・ジョンがこのスタジオに来てくれました Thank you very much How have we been doing?、Um, I've been fine、um, It's nice to be here I haven't been here for 15 years、right. and, uh, It's,、uh, playing with Eric Clapton has been a, a nice opportunity for me to come and see Japan again.、Mm-hmm. And I'm having a great time here.、Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, is your throat okay? My, you throat is, my throat is fine. I've just completed a six week tour of America,、mm-hmm. and, uh, which was a, a great success.、Uh, and uh, I'll, I'll, I'm going to Denmark after this to work on a new album、um, for later next year. Let's talk about this album before、uh, yeah. I talk about the. About the next album, I'm、right. sure. Yeah, <laughs> I haven't even written the next album yet. <laughs> oh, you, you haven't?、Uh... No, I'm go- well, I'm going to just write the s- songs in the studio and just record them straight away, like that, like I used to do with Yellow Brick Road and, and Honky Chateau. Just write with the band there and just put them straight down instead of doing a demo and then、mm. doing because if sometimes if you make a demo of a song,、mm. sometimes you can't get the record as good as the demo. So I'm just going to put the song straight down on tape、uh, with the band being there. And I have a new band, and it's、uh, a very, very good one. And,、uh, I'm very excited about that, but that won't come out for quite some time because, as you say, this new one is still doing very well in, in, in lots of、uh, places.、Um, I think it's doing better in Japan than some of my other records, and I know I haven't sold that many records in Japan recently, so well, it's one of the things we want to rectify. <laughs>、uh, did you record、uh, this album the same way?、Uh, no demos? No, I did、in? mostly demos to most of the songs. A word in Spanish, Elton John. Tell us about the, the, the method you work with、uh, Bernie Taupin. Is, he, he, <coughs> he, he write the words first? Yeah, well, I mean, for example, I will get a piece of paper like this and it'll have a song title、mm. and, uh, and, and a set of lyrics. And,、mm. and then I write just、um, to, 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 to the, the piano. The, yeah, yeah. And we've never actually, we've, this is our 21st year together, but we've never actually written a song together in the same room. So it's, it's not like,、uh, like the other、uh, combination of、uh, McCartney, Lennon, no, or it's, it's not Jagger, a, Keith Richards. No,、Richard. it's not a collaboration thing at all. Although now he's, you know, he's made three albums of his、mm-hmm. own, and he's far more musical than he,、um, than he was in the beginning. But、um, it works that way with us writing. I mean, he writes with other people, and he's had great success with writing with other people. And he, I think he collaborates more in that. And I mean, if, we wouldn't have lasted 21 years if we'd have just written with ourselves. I think we'd have killed each other. But、um, it's, it's a very close relationship, and it's still a very healthy one. Because I think we, we, just, we don't question why it works, we just get on with it and do it.、Mm. Do you,、uh, would you compare that to、uh, like a, a, a marriage, you know, man and woman? Yes,、yeah, I think so. And it's, you know, have to give and take, and you have to have the,、um, um, the sort of、uh, permission, as it were, to go and, and write with other people.、Mm. Because it's important. I mean, I've written with Gary Osborne, I did an album. A lot of people think Bernie and I split up at the time when I put out a、uh, single man.、Mm-hmm. Um, but I, it was written with Gary Osborne.、Um, and at the same time, Bernie put an album out which was written with Alice Cooper. And a lot of people thought and still think that, well, you're back together with Bernie. In fact, Bernie and I never split up. Your song, Elton John. Thank you very much. The Best That USA with Elton John continues. Are you going to be with Bernie Taupin? Yes, Bernie and Chris Thomas.、Um, basically, the reason I'm doing it so quickly is because Chris Thomas, who produces me, next year will have In Excess again because、uh-huh. they will be in, he did the In Excess kick album. Right. And maybe he might do the Rolling Stones, maybe he might do the Who. Or maybe, and so he's going to be really busy. busy. Man, so、right? I'm going to, while I'm in the mood to record, I want to just get my stuff down because I really like recording with him. 
What do you like about him, Tristan? Uh, I like him because he likes so, so many different sorts of music. I mean, he's produced people from Brian Ferry, the Sex Pistols, Paul McCartney, Paul McCartney. myself, the Pretenders, um, Roxy Music. Uh, he has a very wide uh, taste in music, which I, I do too. So, and, and he's very strict. He, if he doesn't like something, he will tell me that he doesn't like it. And uh, if I write him a song, if I write a song and I play it to him, he said, "Well, maybe this should be there and that should be there." And sometimes, when you write a song. Um, you don't. You're so close to it. You can't see. You know. You can't see the wood for the trees, as it were. Mm. And uh, he, he, he's able to sort of pick out things. And we, we've known each other. We went to the Royal Academy of Music together when we were 11. 11. So we've known each other for 30 years, basically. Oh, that's, uh, I know that's that terrible. Really? I try not to think about that. <laughs> <laughs> You listen to other people. Do you uh, keep an eye on all what's the time? Going, all the time. I like listening to. I've always done that. I think, um, you know, uh, you have to keep up with what's going on. Uh, there's an awful lot of good records out there. There's a new uh, record I just discovered yesterday. I got the compact disc over here. It's an English import of a girl called Enya, who's number ah. one in England, uh, with a record called Orinoco Flow, and it's a fantastic album. It's so different. And there's an album by Fairground Attraction, which I love. I listen to lots of things. Um, I travel a lot, so I, I can listen to a lot of things. I, I, I spend a lot of time in the car, so I can listen to things there. And it's important to, you know, to keep up with the competition because, you know, you can't hide yourself away and think that you, if you don't listen, will be competitive because, you, you know, you, that doesn't happen. You have to listen and you have to... It's good to be out there with the younger people. They give you that n necessary stimulus to try and do well again yourself. Mm -hmm. Well, in your career, you had, uh, you've experienced uh, the, 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 uh, the, the, the punk coming up no. in the 70s. How did you feel? Then? I felt very old when punk came in. Um, I mean, I remember watching a program when I first saw punk on, on a London weekend television program. Uh, with It was the Sex Pistols and uh, uh, Susie and the Banshees. Uh -huh. and, and, and they called me a boring old fart. And I was sitting at home in my bedroom and thinking, oh my God, I feel so old. And what, are, what is all this? And ironically enough, Chris Thomas, who produces me, produced them as well. Right. Um, and I, I saw it. It woke me up. I thought it was very funny. I loved the punk um, era of clothes and the fact that people could run for a bus with their legs tied together. And uh, uh, it seemed quite absurd, but I'm, I'm, I, I'm a lover of the absurd in life anyway. So, no, I, I felt threatened initially, but um, when I met some of them, they were very, very, you know, it was like... It was, it was all show business, show business, uh -huh. you know? but it was, it, was a, it was good fun. I thought it was good. I mean, there were, the music mm, I wasn't that f fond of, but I liked the energy from it uh -huh. and, and the fashion and the fact that kids could actually, you know, it was a rebel. I mean, pop music at that time was pretty dull, I will, uh, pretty damn dull. So it was good, and I like anything that, that kids come along and create themselves is always healthy. Are you enshrined in the Hall of Fame? Uh, no, you have to. You have to be making records for 25 years. 25. I calculate that by that time it'll be 1994. And uh, God, how old will I be by 1994? Can you see us? 46 years of age. I don't. I don't think that far ahead. I mean, um, it, those sort of things can make you feel pretty damn old. I, I was at the last one when I, I gave the Beach Boys their award last year, which was quite interesting because right. um, Mike Love proceeded to have a go at everybody in the building. Um, How about a Walk of Fame or anything like that? Oh, I'm on the Walk of the Hollywood. Yeah, I'm, mm. I've had my star um, since about 1973. Uh, I don't know if it's still there or how many dogs have desecrated it, but uh, it's still there. Uh, you know, I think I think it's still there. Okay, thank you for your time. Thank you, John. Thank you.